I know you all have heard the phrase, everybody makes mistakes countless times in your life and maybe even said it to console someone and encourage them to not dwell on a misstep. Sometimes when you aren't listening to those inner voices and the knowing of your own purpose, you can get off track. And even when I know how to listen, sometimes if I don't listen, whoa, I get off track really quickly. Life is like a wave and you ride it through the ups and downs, the steady times, and then you anchor yourself in the storm. Life will give you whatever experience is most helpful for the evolution of your consciousness. And how do you know this is the experience you need? Because this is the experience you are having at this moment. Well, it starts with loving right now who you are, all yourself, your flaws. Take a moment to look at what is really running through your mind about yourself that may be holding you back. The energy of the universe responds to positivity. And so if you're telling yourself you're not slim enough, you're not good enough, when that negative chatter starts in your head, stops, lean away from it. When you let those thoughts of not being enough seep in, you can't really act out the best of yourself. The power of staying present. I believe that when you're fully present, that's when you're actually fully alive. When you need to focus on what to do, what to do next, the focus is just that the now becomes your everything. That it's one of the most impactful spiritual practices, knowing the power of now. Letting go of energy that's clouding your vision and holding you back. The energy that you put into constantly rewinding to the resentment only keeps you stuck. You gotta press stop and reject the urge to keep replaying so that you can then fast forward into the now for yourself. Expecting people to do what you would do in a situation only leads to your disappointment. I'm never close to new ideas, producing new television dramas for own, traveling, speaking once COVID loosens its news. Age is whatever number you choose to feel. Past is gone. Future's not promised to anybody. After you've done all you can, you just stay. You deserve peace. What can you do this week to take a stand for peace in your own life and the lives of those that you love? Your legacy is every life you've touched. Your legacy is every life that you've touched. And we like to think of it. I know you have done amazing things with your philanthropy. Internal strength and internal courage it takes to say, no, I will not let you treat me this way, is what success is all about. You are worthy to say no. You are worth that it's okay if you say no. It's okay if you say no and then people don't like you. That's really okay. The important thing is how you feel about what you're doing, how you feel about yourself.